This is Mark from the Mongoose development team. In this video, we're going to go over the Flex Layout, a brand new container in Mongoose 902 that we're really excited to show off. Before now, the best way to dynamically scale and move components on a form was to use glue. While glue alone was powerful, it had some limitations. For example, if you wanted a component to stay on the right side of the form when it was resized, you could do that with glue. The component would stretch so that you weren't left with a lot of white space on your form. But, what if we wanted to keep our UI centered regardless of the size of the form? Essentially have the form react as most websites do, where you expand the website and certain elements stay centered, and the margins expand and contract based on the application window size. Well this is where a flex layout paired with glue really shines. Now we have the tools to build this functionality into our forms. A flex layout is a new kind of container in Mongoose. A flex layout contains regions. As you'll see, we can even put a flex layout inside of a flex layout region. This can be used to divide a form into dynamically sized columns and rows, which we can place components into. Here's an example of what I mean in the new Mongoose Portal app we're developing using this new flex layout tool. Let's take a look at how we can build a consumer UI that's always centered on our form. I have a new form open and I'm going to select the Flex Layout tool and then click and drag one onto the form. I always like to add a description to each flex so I know what's inside of it. Click inside the flex, then click on this icon to open this layout's attributes. Click on the Add button to add two horizontal box regions. Select the middle region and change the unit type from flex to char. This will allow us to designate a static value for this region. The other two regions in this flex layout are set to the unit type flex, which will allow them to scale up and down. And then let's set this value of the middle region to 70. Select the top region and scroll down to assign a background image to the region. This will make it easier to see the region flexing when we go into run mode. Do the same for the bottom region and then click OK. With the flex layout selected, scroll down and glue the layout bottom and right. In run mode, we can see that it's working nicely. Back in design mode, let's make a flex layout inside of our middle static region. Select the flex layout tool, then click inside the middle region. Resize this flex layout so it's the same size as the middle region. Again, I'll add a description to this flex layout. Edit this flex layout and change the type to vertical box. I'll add six regions. I'll change the values of the regions that we're going to add content to, but I'll leave the values of these padded regions as just one. Now we see our little padding regions and our content regions. Let's throw a background image into that banner region. And then let's put a three column flex layout within the region below that. We can put some images in here that can act as navigation buttons. Resize it so it matches the region that it's contained within. Then we'll make a few horizontal box regions. Again, I'm going to create regions between my content to act as padding. Now let's assign some background images to our regions and click OK. OK, just for fun, let's add one more flex layout in the region below this for some text. Add three regions. The middle one again is for padding. Now we can throw a static component in the left region and add some text. Then add another static component in the right region and add some text. I should justify the text left. Enter run mode and there you have it. A nice consumer UI that will always stay centered. There are tons, and I mean tons of things that you can do with this tool. For more tutorials and documentation, visit our portal. For technical support, visit m 4 Extreme. And if you have comments for us, please email mongoose at This is Mark Ellison from the Mongoose Development Team saying thanks for watching.